Yo, what's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. I got something crazy for y'all today. This one is crazy, man. Like, I don't know. I mean, some people probably could expect it to happen. I mean, me personally, I, I wouldn't have never seen it happen this soon. So, they're saying right now, uh... Oprah, she had her house uh, was basically kind of raided. They took some classified documents and things as such, you know, from her property, and they're working on her. And they also saying that she's connected and tied to what your boy, uh, the Dittler, be uh, doing, man, with the, the trafficking and, and all of that stuff. They said that the school was a cover up, and everything that she's doing is the cover up for that. And they're saying allegedly, and all of this is allegedly, you know, um, they're saying that, you know, she got tunnels under the house, you know, and most probably all the properties as well to, to do all the things that, that she's doing. And um, it looked like she's next on the list, man. Um, man, this is crazy. Like all the executives done demoted themselves. And, you know, Diddy, he's going through what he's going through. And, you know, Diddy, of course, he chill with Oprah. He chill with all of them. So, you know, Oprah, she, she need to tighten up on whatever she got going and uh, try to try to get away from the situation. If it ain't already too late, um, it ain't looking good for her, man. Uh, this is a crazy situation for her to be in. I, I'll be honest. It's a crazy situation for her to be in, man, and the way it's going. It's going down quick and you know she's a mogul you know and she's a, a billionaire debt too so they're gonna bash her even more you know to try to bring her down you know and uh man 2024 is up like your boy cat williams said he wasn't playing no games man he said everything's coming to the light that's why everybody's being quiet. I mean, like, even with the case with the Diddy thing, there's over 100 names so far. This is not even everyone. And then they saying it's over 100 that's going to be testifying so far. And one of the attendees was Oprah, of course. I mean, she he's chilled with every single person in Hollywood, you know. So that's just a given, you know. But all I can tell y'all is, man, I, I need y'all uh, opinions on this one, man. Oprah, man, you know, some people don't think about that, but, you know, shit's going down, it's going down bad, and, uh, yeah, I gotta see how they just did her house, man, and tune in on this, drop the comments, man, let me know what y'all think about this one, we're gonna have another conversation on this, man, this is crazy, and, uh, hit the subscribe button, man, check out the next video that, uh, that's followed behind this one, that's, uh, the next segment to uh, Oprah. Hey there, folks. Today, we're diving headfirst into a story that's shaking up the world. Oprah Winfrey finds herself at the center of a legal storm as the FBI slaps her with an arrest warrant following a second raid on her lavish estate. Hold on to your seats because this is a roller coaster ride you don't want to miss. When federal agents conduct a raid, they're on the hunt for serious evidence related to alleged federal crimes. In Oprah's case, this could mean anything from financial records to electronic communications or even more incriminating materials. The fact that a second raid has led to an arrest warrant indicates the gravity of the evidence uncovered. It's enough to point directly to possible criminal activities. So, what's next for Oprah? Legal experts suggest she'll likely be advised to turn herself in voluntarily. Her legal team will then kick into high gear, dissecting the charges and preparing a robust defense strategy. This could spell a lengthy legal battle depending on the complexity of the evidence and the nature of the alleged misconduct. Sources close to the investigation hint that the raids are part of a broader probe into alleged financial improprieties. While these allegations are yet to be substantiated, the involvement of federal agents underscores the severity of the situation. News of Oprah's legal woes has set social media ablaze, with hashtags like One Oprah Raid and One Oprah Arrest dominating trends. Fans and critics alike are voicing shock and disbelief 
as they follow every twist and turn in this unfolding saga. Joining us today is PR expert Michael Thompson to shed light on Oprah's next moves. Oprah's team needs to act swiftly and transparently, he advises. They should issue a statement acknowledging the investigation while steadfastly asserting her innocence. Controlling the narrative is key to reassuring fans and business partners alike. Could this spell long-term damage to Oprah's brand? Absolutely, Thompson confirms. Even if cleared, the association with a federal investigation can tarnish reputations. However, Oprah's long-standing goodwill and philanthropic efforts may help mitigate some fallout. Oprah Winfrey, a global icon known for her inspirational journey from adversity to media magnate, has faced challenges before. Hey there, folks. Today we're diving headfirst into a story that's shaking up the world. Oprah Winfrey finds herself at the center of a legal storm as the FBI slaps her with an arrest warrant following a second raid on her lavish estate, Hold On To Your Seats. Because this is a roller coaster ride you don't want to miss when federal agents conduct a raid, they're on the hunt for serious evidence related to alleged federal crimes. In Oprah's case, this could mean anything from financial records to electronic communications or even more incriminating materials. The fact that a second raid has LED to an arrest warrant indicates the gravity of the evidence uncovered. It's enough to point directly to possible criminal activities. So what's next for Oprah? Legal experts suggest she'll likely be advised to turn herself in. Voluntarily, her legal team will then kick into high gear dissecting the charges and preparing a robust defense strategy. This could spell a lengthy legal battle, depending on the complexity of the evidence and the nature of the alleged misconduct sources. Officials uncovered a series of hidden underground caves located directly beneath Oprah's sprawling estate. The caves are said to be large enough to house multiple people, and some reports even suggest the possible existence of living quarters, storage facilities, and even a secret passageway leading off-site. But here's where things really start to get interesting. Rumors are now swirling that these underground chambers may somehow be linked to the alleged criminal activities of rapper Sean Diddy Combs. Apparently, investigators believe these caves could have been used as part of an elaborate money laundering scheme or perhaps even as a hideout for fugitives. Now, Oprah's team has vehemently denied these accusations, calling them completely baseless and defamatory. They insist that the raid was unlawful and that no such underground structures were ever found on the property. However, sources close to the investigation claim to have seen photographic evidence proving otherwise. If these allegations turn out to be true, the implications could be staggering. Oprah's reputation and legacy as a beloved media mogul and philanthropist could be irreparably damaged, and her potential involvement with Diddy's alleged criminal enterprises could land her in serious legal jeopardy. Now, of course, we have to take all of this with a grain of salt for now, as the details are still emerging and nothing has been officially confirmed. According to sources familiar with the investigation, the federal raid on Oprah's estate was part of a larger probe into money laundering and racketeering activities potentially connected to Sean Diddy Combs. It was during the execution of this search warrant that investigators claimed to have stumbled upon the hidden underground chambers. The caves were meticulously concealed, with sophisticated security features and access points. It was clear this wasn't some amateur operation. A lot of time, money, and planning had gone into creating these facilities underneath Oprah's property. Speculation is rampant about how these underground structures could have been utilized. Some theorize they may have served as a secure location to stash illicit funds or as a hideout for individuals wanted by the authorities. Others have suggested more nefarious possibilities, such as human trafficking. I can't wait. I can't wait for everybody to find out what's really been going on in the background. I'm trying to say this to my friends who had children. You're seven years old and someone is stroking you. It feels good. Because you're, you're going to be a big voice for the future. And I, I need them to know what the dangers are. Absolutely. Jaguar Wright has just dropped some explosive allegations that could shatter Oprah Winfrey's pristine image. Imagine this. Secret, wild parties at Diddy's Mansion, where young rappers are supposedly drawn into a dangerous whirlpool of substances and exploitation. That's right, the queen of empowerment herself, Oprah, is accused of being at the center of this scandalous scene. If these claims are true, Oprah's legacy might never recover. Dive into the details with us as we unravel this jaw, dropping story that's got everyone talking. This is all impromptu. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I'm triggered. So, Oprah, the beloved media mogul, is alleged to have not only attended, but also organized these infamous freak-off parties. But what really happens at these gatherings? The tales are as horrifying as they are sensational. According to multiple sources and eyewitness accounts, these parties are far from ordinary celebrity soirees. These events are reportedly rife with illicit substances, hidden cameras, and rampant exploitation. Victims have described scenes of debauchery and manipulation, where attendees are coerced into compromising situations, all under the influence of powerful substances. Hello? I once had Diddy text me, welcome to the family, but I was by a platinum selling producer who was one of his cohorts. It's said that Diddy employs a cadre of enablers who facilitate these activities, ensuring that no evidence escapes the confines of his heavily monitored mansions. The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs. Shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information. One insider revealed that these parties serve a dual purpose. Not only are they a playground for the elite, but they are also a cunning means of business. Newcomers to the industry are allegedly lured with the promise of networking and opportunity, only to find themselves ensnared in a web of blackmail and exploitation. Hidden cameras, strategically placed throughout Diddy's properties, capture every compromising moment, providing a trove of potential leverage against the partygoers. Replete with very, very serious and salacious allegations, uh, including allegations that uh, Combs had cameras throughout his- As the story unfolds, the role of Oprah Winfrey becomes even more disturbing. It's claimed that Oprah, leveraging her vast network and influence, was instrumental in recruiting new faces for these events. Her connections in the industry allowed her to handpick individuals who would be most susceptible to manipulation, ensuring a steady stream of fresh victims. Oprah's involvement allegedly went beyond mere participation. She is accused of using these parties as a means to secure business deals and eliminate competitors. This leads us to the question, how did this clandestine operation function so seamlessly for so long? The answer lies in a meticulously crafted scheme. Oprah and Diddy are said to have used their celebrity status to create an illusion of exclusivity and privilege. Attendees, often young and eager to climb the social ladder, were drawn into the promise of rubbing elbows with industry giants. Once inside, the reality was starkly different. Guests were plied with substances coerced into illicit activities and filmed without their consent. 2007, Oprah Winfrey opened up a boarding school in South Africa. The academy had salons and gyms in it. Allegations have surfaced that this school was a front for child trafficking. These girls would be allegedly groomed to be ready for sale. Oprah handpicked the young girls who attended her school based on physical appearance, but it wasn't long until word got out about what really the school was about. Turns out these young girls were being touched or broken in by one of the employees there to allegedly get them ready for clients. Oprah vehemently denied any involvement in or knowledge of Diddy's criminal activities. She expressed her outrage at being implicated in such serious allegations, describing them as baseless and defamatory. Oprah's statement emphasized her commitment to ethical conduct and transparency throughout her career. Behind the scenes, sources close to Oprah report that she is deeply distressed by the allegations. Friends and associates have described her as losing it, indicating the immense personal toll the scandal is taking on her. Oprah is reportedly working closely with her legal team to address the claims and clear her name. The public and media reaction to the allegations against Oprah has been mixed, reflecting the complex nature of her public persona and the severity of the claims. Many of Oprah's fans and colleagues have rallied in her defense, arguing that the allegations are out of character for someone who has built a career on integrity and positive influence. High profile figures in the entertainment industry have voiced their support, emphasizing Oprah's contributions to society and her long-standing reputation for ethical conduct. Conversely, there is a significant amount of skepticism and criticism. Some individuals believe that the allegations warrant a thorough investigation, regardless of Oprah's public image. Critics argue that no one should be above scrutiny and that the truth must be uncovered, no matter how influential the person involved. The allegations and the ensuing scandal have significant potential implications for Oprah's career, public image, and legacy. If the allegations persist or are substantiated, Oprah's reputation could suffer irreparable damage. Her image as a trusted media figure and philanthropist would be severely tarnished, affecting her ability to influence and inspire. Professionally, Oprah could face backlash from sponsors, business partners, and the broader media industry. Breaking news. Shannon Sharp has sued Oprah Winfrey for a massive $57 million. Yep, Shannon's accusing Oprah of ruining his career. Sources say Oprah blocked big-name guests from appearing on Shannon's show. To be clear, this all blew up after Shannon brought on comedian Cat Williams, who exposed some untouchable Hollywood secrets. And guess who didn't like that? Yes, it's Oprah. Allegedly, she used her power behind the scenes to ruin Shannon's rise.
Guests started canceling last minute and doors began closing on him. Shannon's not taking it lying down though and now he's coming for Oprah with a huge lawsuit claiming she damaged his reputation and cost him millions in potential contracts. And it's not just Shannon. Cat Williams even hinted that Oprah's got serious pull saying she's like a Hollywood handler who silences anyone who crosses her. Remember Monique's feud with Oprah? The same whispers of control have followed Oprah for years. Could Oprah really be that powerful?